Welcome guys to another video. Today I'm going over the sentry game Wanderlust Gambit. So I start with e4, e5, d4. And after e, x, d4, instead of taking back with a queen, which most people do, you do kind of a tricky move. Bishop c4. The reason why this is a tricky move is because you're not taking back with a queen. So he responds with bishop c5, defending the pawn. But this is the first mistake that black does. Very big mistake. You're probably like, what? It's defending the pawn. But then why does the brilliant move? Bishop takes f7 check. This is such a good move. Because in, if you take the bishop, probably the best variant, queen h5 check, it forks both these pieces. And once he defends, you'll be tied, but in a much better position, being able to take this pawn, uh, which is going to trap the rook. The black king is out in the open. So if you're in this position, don't move the bi bishop here. Also, if you do this, he could also not take here, but that's even worse, because after you trade off, Bam! Skewer! King and queen. You lose a queen. So, both variants are bad. Don't move your bishop here. It may seem like an okay move, but it's not. The best move actually is to go knight f6, just to counterattack on this pawn. But instead, black does bishop b4. It's not as good, but I'd say it's equal for both sides right now. Uh, it's another okay move, just doing knight f6 is better. Because after c3, d takes c3, knight takes c3, it's just going to be completely tied. So, if you're ever playing the Wanderlassa Gambit, there's a there's a big trap for Black. Don't don't do Bishop C5 because you're just gonna be set up for disaster. Thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.